Okay, hi friends, welcome back again. This is the continuous session of browser stack automation cloud sessions. Uh, and uh, in previous session, we have successfully launched our uh, API demo app in browser stack uh, using desired capabilities and all those things. Okay, now in this session, let's understand the very important concept how to inspect the mobile app elements using APM inspector in browser stack. Okay, this is a little tricky thing. We require to understand how to inspect that element and how to set, set up desired capabilities in this APM inspector and how to uh, inspect that element uh, to automate the things. Okay, so let's go to the Eclipse uh, without wasting time and uh, let's understand. Uh, previously, we have just assigned this setup part as a test. So we require to write some test file, remove this test from here and I'll assign it uh, setup as a before annotation okay just import this before our test annotations from test engine annotations part just remove this dot, dot feed from here and i'll return one uh, test here like a public void api demo test okay. this one is a test and we assign this name as a test and uh, one more thing, let's do that. Uh, public after test, let's set here down. Set here down and uh, give annotations like uh, after test. So, test what we have to do. So, after test, we require to quit the driver. So, we'll just quit the driver here. So we require to de uh, define this driver as a global. So I'll just remove from here under driver driver and make it global. Okay. Required to uh, so that driver driver will be globally used. Okay. So this is the global variable. So if you don't know how to what is global variable and uh, global variable, you can watch Java lectures uh, in playlist of Bob Automation Lab. You, you, will get a better idea what is global and local variable okay so this uh the setup we have set up this username access key we have set up these desired capabilities and all those things and we have written one test now we require to write some test here to test so test uh, is something like that we require to open browser uh this app in browser stack cloud and after that we want to do some action on the uh, that app okay so first of all we required to inspect that element okay so the question here is how to inspect the elements in uh, browser stack okay using uh, epm inspector so i'll just open epm inspector if you have older version of epm desktop you can use from here okay it's the previous version of this uh, 1.22.2 if you are using latest version like more the greater than 1.22.2 so it will not available here epm inspector we required to download the separate app for this okay so how to download the apm inspector previously have lots of uh, students asked me that question so i will give you the demo how to download apm inspector so just type apm inspector download on google uh, google and don't go to go to this first web url okay this is the first github url if you go here you can you will get download the code like a main main uh, file okay apm inspector main file you you not required to download that just go to this release sections okay and download from here okay if you want to take this latest version 22.8.1 go to go to this section and here download as per your operating system convenient like a uh, window if you are working with windows download this exe if you're working with mac, mac download this uh, dmg file whatever uh, your operating system you are using uh, as per the convenient operating system you can download this files okay simple so this is the epm inspector i have already downloaded so i'm not going to download it again i have created shortcut for this and i'll just open it okay, it will take some time to open apm inspector we require to set up some desired capabilities and access keys here in apm inspector so that we can easily inspect the mobile uh, app elements using browser stack cloud so how to uh, set up that capabilities that's the important thing here when this type of one GUI will get open whenever you open one APM inspector. 
here is a default browser stack is set up if it is not set up here go to the select cloud uh, provider section we have lots of cloud providers that is available here as we are working with browser stack we will require to select browser stack here okay and just click on done okay go to the browser stack section give here a browser stack username so browser stack username is available in browser stack section okay access key this is your username just copy from here and provided it here okay and just copy this uh, access key from here and just provide it here okay now we require to set up some desired capabilities so first desired capabilities we require to set up is platform name platform name okay don't do any mistake here while setting uh, capabilities this very case sensitive if you are written like a p capital here or name small uh, in small here it will not work okay so don't do any mistake here okay uh, just set up like a platform name in this format only and again go to here uh, in eclipse we have set up already set up some capabilities like device name which device name so just copy from here require to set up as a device name so i will copy this google pixel 3 from here and paste it here okay you can set up uh, like os version as well so i will set up os version okay and os version is 9.0 okay and then very important uh, all other uh, capabilities are optional so i will set up this fourth capabilities app which app you want to run so this is our access uh, key on browser stack so i'll just set up app key here okay so this is this one is automatically created one json uh, representation of your desired capabilities whatever you set up you can save it uh, as per your convenient and you can give the name as browser stack stack api demo apps and save it if you want to use it it's again and again so save capabilities is showing here okay and uh, just set up this capabilities and run it start session whenever you start this session uh, it will automatically connect to the browser stack okay and the one session is getting running here google pixel 3 9.0 automatically and it will launch device here and uh, this particular app which is we have uploaded already uploaded using curl from our browser stack right so this session will get started here automatically and this app is getting open to inspect our elements okay so how do you inspect that so here is the icon to in uh, native app inspector so you can directly inspect the element if you, i want to, to get the text of this text field or this preference field or os field media field graphics field whatever but i want to click on this text if i want so i'll just inspect the element okay it will automatically create a xpath for you accessibility id uh, class name whatever context based resource id uh, everything is generated here okay this one for uh, select the element this one for tap on the, the element uh, just practice this for everything i have already explained it uh, all the steps in um, apm emulator session okay if you want to understand more about these things you can watch that lecture as well this is the completely uh, browser stack related session so i will uh, just showing you one demo so i am going to inspect this element if you want to inspect a wave elements or hybrid related app you can inspect through this inspector but I'm working on the native app, so I'm inspecting this element. Okay, so we we'll just click on this. This is XPath is automatically generated here. If you want to check that XPath is working fine or not, just go to here, select here ID XPath, whatever you want to select. Just paste it here and check whether the XPath is correct or not. It work element represented here. Just tap on that element and check whether it's working on fine or not. So I'm tapping on that element and it's it's redirected to the next page. It means this XPath is working fine right so i'll get I'll copy this xpath from here and paste it into the uh, our test so my first step is driver dot find element by by dot xpath xpath and we we'll just uh, paste that xpath which is i will just copy okay and done Okay, I will just store this in one uh, element. Let's say wave element. Uh, let's say text is equal to. Need to import this wave element from Selenium and text, and I'll do actions on this element like text dot. Text dot let's say get 
text okay and uh, i'll just print that text in system.out.println okay and after that text dot uh, i need to perform action click on that particular element so this is the simple test uh, we have inspect the elements in uh, browser stack uh, using apm inspector and uh, also we have uh, connected to the uh, browser stack cloud using this desired capabilities and we have written one simple test to i uh, just want to click on that particular element text element on browser stack okay so this is the previous account so i am not able to understand uh, automate lots of things i'll just show you on any example you can do it as per your connect multiple things okay so i'll show you to click on this text element i'll just stop this session from here and because we want to run this particular test on browser stack cloud okay so session stops uh, stop now just run this uh, test using test injectable and uh, open browser stack cloud and see whether we are able to click on that text section uh, on the app or not okay so let's refresh in this page let's see it's running okay one test is running now okay 5.1 running and this is the browser stack sample test which is running here okay text yeah, we are successfully captured that text or get text of that element and script is passed successfully failure is zero okay and we are able to click on that element as well okay so here is network log uh, proper log if you are set all this thing will be good show here but we have set up text log so text log is installed in the app set up uh, setting up epm and setting monitor connection launching app and we are successfully click on that particular element okay let's see the uh, video or check whether we are able to click on that particular element or not okay so video is ready get the apm launch uh, app is launched epd one text clicked successfully okay if you want to share this uh, video to your developer or links uh, particular for you or your senior person of your organization you can copy the link from here public link and you can directly share to it okay so this is how we can inspect the element on browser stack using apm inspector okay uh, guys if you have any doubt related to the all this apm series uh, sessions okay you can comment out me or ask me connect with me and ask me any questions related to this okay i'll um, always able to uh, solve that queries and um, I'll, I'll definitely reply on that uh, your comment or you were directly um, if you connected with my, on mail or if you were connected with one to comment section on youtube as well, okay okay so in, in the next session let's uh, understand the more interesting uh, concept uh, concept till time uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe uh, bahu automation lab and share this video to your colleagues as well so they, they also understand the, uh, all automation related concepts practically okay guys so let's meet in this chapter till time have a great day bye bye take care